big match. It's a derby, Manchester United versus Arsenal. Longest rivalry that we have in the Premier League, guys. So if the two teams are going to meet. It's gonna be a big game, and this big this game has a lot of interest, guys. One of the key reasons as to why this match is important. It's important because it's also one of the games which is going to decide whether Arsenal uh, will be able to continue piling pressure to win this season's trophy or not. Uh, Manchester United always have this bragging right that whenever they are at Old Trafford, they are a fortress against Arsenal. Truly speaking, it's been a minute since Arsenal won against Manchester United at Old Trafford. But this time round, it's a different ball game. Manchester United are coming to this match week after losing by four goals to nil against uh, Crystal Palace, a game which they defended poorly, but truly to it, they had to pay for it because of Lisa Bagda brace in that, in, on that match, on that game, Mateta also scored and Tariq Michel also had a goal in that match. Arsenal also coming into this match week after after winning against Bournemouth by three goals to, uh, to nil. In that game week, of course, the usual suspects were on the score sheet. Uh, Saka, Trossard, and of course one of the players who is in contention to win uh, to win a player of the year this season, uh, that is Declan Rice, was also on the score sheet. So that means that these two teams are coming at a time whereby one of the teams, which is Arsenal, is on the high. Manchester United are actually gambling. Though, as Manchester United will be facing Arsenal in this game, they have received some boosts at least, uh, considering that... Uh, some of their defenders, uh, somebody like the butcherman Lisandro Martinez, uh, has been seen in training. Uh, of course, Casemiro, uh, Casemiro had some issues, but he's back. I feel like uh, Ten Hag has no other ways but to play him. Um, Rashford will be back. He's been seen on training. And of course, the big miss who was missed in match with 36. Uh, uh, but it is what it is. The big miss, of course, I'm talking about the captain, Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes will also be featuring in this game. That one, I believe, because he actually need to play this because they actually lacked some creativity. There's also McTominay was seen in the training. Rashford, uh, Martial, Martial also might make some minutes in this game. So it's a game which is very important to Manchester United for bragging rights sake, and also since they also want to grab a slot in the European competition next season. But all said and done. I feel like this is going to be a big contest. Uh, the last two matches which these two teams have played in the Premier League, uh, Arsenal have won both of them. The last one they won by three goals to one, then the immediate one. The other one they won by three goals to two. This is a fixture which is always full of goals, three goals and above. So I feel like it's not going to be any different as they're going to meet this time round. Arsenal on the other side, Ateta. Ateta has been quoted saying that in his brain, in his mind, he is actually seeing Arsenal carrying this title this season. But for them to do that, they actually have to succumb, they actually have to overcome Manchester United on Sunday night. So, as these two teams are gonna meet, I feel like um, in terms of the midfield battle, I feel like Arsenal have the best midfielders. Uh, to be able to outmarshal Manchester United because we are talking about uh, we are talking a midfield of uh, Thomas Partey or Jorginho. I feel like by the uh, Jorginho signed a new contract with Arsenal, but in this match I feel like Jorginho might be the one uh, starting alongside Declan Rice, uh, Trossard or Martinelli. Whoever starts those guys, they are beasts. Saka. He has a knock, but let's see whether he'll be fit to play. Chances are, knowing Saka and knowing Ateta, he will be in that in that match. Uh, the goalkeeper battle between Raya and uh, Onana, both keepers are good, but Raya the, uh, is the keeper of the season, by the way. He's actually won the Golden Glove already after keeping 15 clean sheets and still two matches to go. So congratulations. So I feel that Raya wins that battle. On the defensive battle, Saliba, Gabriel, vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Evans, Anyway, Arsenal also carries that. Uh, on the front line battle, it's Hodgeland versus Gabriel Jesus. That's tricky, but it is what it is. So this is a match. It's, it's going to be interesting to watch it because of the pressure and the, of the fans across the world. So this is a match whereby guys all said and done. I feel like it's Arsenal's time to actually come and unleash their Arsenal Manchester United and win it. They really need this win if they really have to pile this pressure until the last day of the Premier League. So this is a match whereby 
I'm not going to bore you a lot, but I'm going with an Arsenal win. It's going to be a 3-1 win once again.